Hi there. I'm Annette and I am here to do my empties video because I've literally been waiting for like a week to just finish off these last couple products, but I know I'm finishing them this week, uh, so I'm just going to do it now. Um, I've kind of wanted to do it since the end of the year and I've literally just been waiting for the products to run out, but um, they're so close now. Why not? They're going to be empty. Um, if you want to know what's on my eyes today, it is Unearthly, the Rudo Rowami palette that is... Um, discontinued now, and it normally goes for $25, but it's actually half off, so it's $12.50. Um, everything on their discontinued list is uh, half price now, so anything you want to pick up there that's in their discontinued list, even the summer boxes, mystery boxes, um, one was 74 I think, and the other was, that one's like 37 and then uh, $37.50 I think it is, or, um, and then the other one was 105 for the big box, and that one would be like $52.50, so um, they had a lot of blushes for uh, $10, so they're $5, so just a shout out for that. Um, also, don't mind, um, I took my dog on a walk, because we are going to have a storm tonight from sundown to sunrise, so um, I lost part of an eyebrow, and um, my makeup doesn't look that great. I've had it on since 5 a.m., and it's now 3 p.m., so it's been on for 12 hours, and this is what I'm working with, and my terrible phone for my wonderful recording. So, let's get into the empties. So, I have in here the, I have a lot of lotion and stuff, too. It's kind of funny. Uh, OPI Avoplex Moisture Replenishing Lotion. Now, I really like this. It has a slight rose smell. This was a four ounce bottle and um, it was really nice though. I liked that it was such a soft scent. This is one of them holding it this way. This is one of the items that is literally down to here. And um, I really enjoyed this. It was kind of a lighter one so it, it uh, would um, rub into your hands quite nicely. And I did like this. This is something I would repurchase because I did like it. Now, staying on point with the um, moisturizers. This is an Okies Working Hands Cream. It leaves extremely dry, cracked hands. The number one hand cream brand in America. I think this is like $7 and I literally loved it so much I got every bit out that I could. Um, it's just a very nice thicker cream for your hands for cold weather. I have ex not only just dry but extremely dry skin. So I went through both of those this winter. Staying aligned within that, I had this. This is another one that is literally almost gone. Um, this is called Farmer's Market Cuticle Cream, and I wear this every morning in the winter time, and I absolutely adore this product. I would buy this over and over and over again. I don't know if they even sell it anymore, um, but I literally have finished it up this winter. Um, but this is a great product. I don't know how much this one is, um, but it's a lemon butter cuticle cream, and I love the little tin. It's so cute. So I'll probably save the tin for something just because I think it's so adorable. Maybe I'll save it for like making one of my own products and put it in here like a lip scrub or something. I don't know the price because it's just been a while. Um, then, huh. yeah, it's mostly moisturizer in here. It's kind of crazy. This was just a simple little sample bottle, really not that important. Um, no, I wouldn't purchase it again. A Naveen Cycalfate. This is good for repairing protective uh, things on your skin. It, it will. Uh, it's good for like cuts and scrapes and stuff like that. And it's just a teeny tiny uh, five milliliter sample that I got. Then I had this. Hard on dark. Oh, and that came with um, a Peter Thomas Roth purchase from Ulta. Um, this is Cardon Dark Circle Eye Rescue infused with cactus extract, fights dark circles, puffiness, and wrinkles. This worked, and I really loved it. And um, if I go and look it up and try to find it again, plus it has one of the little uh, roller balls on it. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Again, I have no idea how much this was. I should have looked it up, but I would definitely repurchase. Then. I went through the, this Earth Harbor Celestine. Absolutely love this. This is a serum. I think this one costs around 40 or 38 I think it's like $38. But I've actually gone through another half a bottle of this, which would be gone now, except I'm using another serum that is uh, 
evening my skin tone and it's a resurfacing. It's a, a La Roche Posay uh, Glycolic B5 serum. And I'm going to tell you, I've been using it for a month now, and I had this fake tan that was still on my face from like a year and a half ago. Could not get it off no matter how much I was trying. It's almost gone now in a month from that stuff. That stuff works out of 2023. It is my best, most important item. If I had nothing last year except for that item, it would have been, it was the best thing I used all year long. So take that note. Anyway, I love this. I will most definitely repurchase this. Like I said, after I got it and started using it, I purchased another one immediately. I think I had gotten one in a boxy charm and then I immediately bought it again because I got it for like eight dollars in a boxy charm. Okay. Another item that was from Boxy Charm was this Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. Look at how gorgeous this little glass bottle is. I will be saving this bottle. This was a $48 eye cream and I got every last bit out of this. It was amazing and I love it. And on top of it, this bottle is just so adorable. I will definitely, like maybe if I need to take some thing on the go, like some hand cream or something, I can always put it in this little pot. 100% would definitely repurchase that. In fact, I'll put my definitely's like up right over here, like 100%, 100%, like as soon as possible repurchasing those. Then I had this one was amazing. It's called from Grounded. I think it was from I think called, uh, Grounded Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid and Collagen Under Eye Serum. It's like a vitamin C serum. Again, a boxy charm item that I had bought. And I loved this. It lasted a long time. Um, I can't remember how much this one was. I think I got it for like around eight dollars, six dollars, something like that. Absolutely loved this vitamin C. Um, definitely feel like it helped. And then <laughs> another one. My Mary Kay Time Wise Night Solution. Now I'm almost done with another bottle of this, but I do my um I put on my, uh, I wash my face, and then I do my toner, and then I do my serum, and then I do my eye cream, and then I put this on at night, and then I go in with my cream. I absolutely love this. This is one that's got the little beads in it, and then they pop and they come up, and I'm telling you, it's just the gel facial night lotion. It's around 50, I think. I love this, and I literally had this much left in another bottle, so I would 100% repurchase that. Okay, then I also finished off a, sorry, I'm just going to do this one right here because it's also a moisturizer, and it literally only has the teeniest, tiniest little bit left, so it's almost done. This is that really expensive Avant, like a hundred and something dollar um, shea butter hyaluronic vitamin B3 sea water sweet almond uh, deluxe hyaluronic acid vivifying face and eye night cream. Now, um, I used most of this for my face and my eye, but then I was like, that would have been such an amazing just eye cream for a lot of it that would have lasted a very long time. I wish I had just used this for eye cream. Um, I like it. I, I've been using it for the last month straight and I do like it for the eyes. Um, couldn't really say much about it for the skin, but I would never buy this on my own for that price. It was a boxy charm item I got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten moisturizers there. Ten. Okay. Um, then the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover. This was like a little travel one that I finished up. Um, I still have one of these left, and then I have two that I use at the house. So um, it was fine. Fine. I don't know if I'd repurchase it, but it was fine. <laughs> I have my Oral-B Essential Floss Mint Flavored in here. This one it was very big because of this little round thing. It lasted forever, and that I really liked about it. And I kind of liked that the bottle was round. Um, I just really liked the case of this. However, I'm doing a lot of the Glide now, so I probably wouldn't repurchase that one anymore. But I did like how much you would get for your money. The, the thing was just loaded, and it lasted a very long time. Okay, and last item. Now, I did make the mistake of when I purchased this one that I did not buy the hydrating one. I just got the 16-hour camo concealer by e.l.f. in uh, golden beige, I think is what I got. Medium golden. 
and I scraped this baby until I couldn't just, I mean, I could probably get a little bit more out of it, but I have two others, and so I just, I'm not going to just spend so much time doing it. Um, I would repurchase this if it was the hydrating one, but um, this is not. Now I'm using a matte one, but since it's matte, I kind of like to use it for um, mixing it with my hyaluronic one, so I'm basically getting something like this again, but I have one that's too light and one that's a little too dark, so... Let's go over one last thing. Oh, I will definitely repurchase. I will 100% repurchase. 100% repurchase. I would definitely repurchase. I will definitely be repurchasing that. Repurchasing as long as it's hydro. I mean, if I can find it that cheap again. I think this normally ranges around 30 bucks. Oh, the elf one is seven, I think, and um, this I will not repurchase, not repurchase, not repurchase. Wouldn't care to get this again. And these two, I might repurchase, and I might repurchase. It's not high on my list, though. So, what was that? Uh, 11 items all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, that was 13 items. Let me give you a couple of mentions. I also had a Versed uh, moisturizing cream, night cream. Uh, it was in kind of like a very light baby pink bottle that was for, it was a dry night cream and it had the pump on it and it was $20. And I think it's like 22 now or 25 now. I would 100% repurchase that one. I had just thrown the bottle away, so I didn't have it anymore. But I would definitely repurchase that. Honestly, um, I think that's literally about it. I'm just ready to toss this stuff now. Um, but the other thing, I wanted to give a mention to something because... Um, pan in a couple of things, and so I thought I would talk about that really quickly. Um, let me grab it. I think it's down there. Alright, so I am literally, this morning I just hit pan in this. Clinique number three rosy blush. It's a cream blush, and I really like this one. So I just hit pan on this. I will be finishing this. I really like this one. I, it's what I'm wearing today, actually. Like I said, it's a little light now. And I noticed that I am like a day or two away from hitting pan. Definitely right here. I'm probably a week away from hitting pan there. But I can just start to see the pan. Yep. Just starting to see the pan in the top or in the bottom one. And actually, right there, if you can see those little pokes I made, literally about to hit pan in both of those. So, super duper close. And then I figure I can always mix these two. I, I pretty much mix these two. Then I could just mix these two. Um, because I'm not using either one of those otherwise. I don't highlight with that um, at all. So, or contour with it in any way. So, I, I will definitely be repurchasing this as well. Um, I really like it. This one would definitely be on my radar radar for repurchasing. However, I don't know. Um, I think that there's enough really good blushes out there, cream blushes nowadays, and there's some other things that I want to try. And I have a Pixie cream that I really like. I have a Natasha Denona cream that I really like. Um, uh, I want to try the Juvia's Place liquid blushes, and I want to try the new Elf ones too. So it will probably be a while before I repurchase those. And I know they're not empty. This will end up empty. And this will too. Um, but that's where I'm sitting about now as far as things go. Um, I feel like I had finished off a shampoo, but I just can't remember what it was. And I obviously threw it away. So I guess that's it for this video. Um, shout out to Unearthly. I have two more palettes coming this week. And Honestly, I'm probably going to just film a short with this eye look, and then I'm probably going to take it off. Um, maybe try something else. I'm just really kind of wanting to try something else today. Um, maybe not at the same time. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. It's, I've had a long day. 
Um, but that is where we're sitting now. I am loving Unearthly Cosmetics. I'm going to be doing lots of videos for them. I just am so, so impressed with their shadows that I'm just in love. I want to try their other products as well. Their, like, liquid lips, their glosses. Um, I just saw what Valentine's is going to be looking like, the mystery box. And let me tell you. I'm just going to say two words. I would expect to see a lot of purple in the mystery box for Valentine's. I'm not giving up any info. I'm not giving up what her YouTube page is, her channel, um, because of the amount of followers that she has on it. I'm not giving up anything because it's just maybe she likes it that way. Um, and I'm definitely, like, she wasn't even answering certain things, but there were hints. All I'm going to say is, if you like purple, I would get the mystery box for Valentine's. And I will say that there will be 12 items in it as well. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. I would expect to see eyeshadow, lip gloss, liquid lips, and maybe lip liners, and there will be 12 items, but that's all I'm gonna say. So, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to like this box, and um, I'll say it's a lot of cold toned stuff too. I mean, it's gonna there's gonna be some warm toned in there too, but that's all I'm saying, but I'm gonna tell you the shifts that I saw, oh, they're unreal. And if you want to get one of the most amazing shifty lip glosses that you have ever seen in your entire life, I would get that mystery box. That's all I'm saying. You can do your own research. You can try to find their channel yourself, whatever you want to do. But that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to spill the beans. All right. Have a good day. See you later.